we start digging right around the house in the yard because that's where all the parties and everything would have happened. Oh, that sounds awesome right there. I get a hit that is so crystal clear, it makes me almost weep. This is down there a ways, though. Drop down, roll the plug out. I start poking the pinpointer in there. Oh, it's way down there in the bottom of the hole. It's a good sign that it's deep, though. I mean, that means it's not like a brand new quarter. Oh, KG, KG! I'm not talking about some little weeny penny. Oh, that's huge! It's a, it's a massive coin. It's got to be. I've got a giant coin in the hole. I can't wait to see what it is. Look at the size of that sucker. Could that be, could be a large could be cent. Anything. It could be colonial, could be large cent. That could be a flowing hair worth thousands. And I start brushing dirt away. Oh, you can read it. And clear as a bell, I can see a one, a seven, 17, and a two. 1720 something. No 1720. way. 1720s. No freaking way. <laughs> My mind has that weird thing where it like cramps up and you don't know what's happening. 1720s. The oldest coin of my life. But I didn't even see exactly what kind of coin it was. So I run back to see what I got. It didn't break my machine. Uh, what is it? I flip it over, and I can see the outline of King George. And I am definitely not talking about KG sitting right next to me. I'm looking at the English King George. I know I've got an old time British half penny. How cool is that? This is the oldest coin ever, right here, ever. Ringy just completely dethroned me. He like pulled the crown off the king's head, smashed it, and threw it out into the moat. 